Welcome to the Book of Remembrance. This message was received from the Lord Jesus on August the 13th, 2016. The title of the message is The Perfect Gift. And the Lord Jesus began, Where is my tribute, my children? What do you bring as a gift for a great king? Am I not worthy of your best? What is the best gift that you can bring to me? I am in my throne room. Soon, the doors to my palace will be flung wide open. All who enter therein must bring a tribute. Without a tribute, you may not enter into my presence. Therefore, prepare your gifts. Package them sumptuously. Include your very best in it, or it will be rejected to your own shame. All the gifts should be gift-wrapped. I am looking forward to opening them and appreciating them first, before I show them to others. Be careful with my gifts. Do not destroy them or break them on your way in to see me. If you need assistance, ask the gatekeeper to send some help out to you. I have many willing servants whose job is to help you. All the gifts will be presented to me on the day of my great feast. I have already sent out all the invitations, and only the ones who RSVP'd may come to my feast, bearing your very best gift. Those who did not RSVP need not come. They will be turned away at the gate, for a place for them was not set at my table. Yes, many are too busy with their own lives. They did not even bother to open the RSVP envelope. They are not even aware of its contents. It is put aside with the junk mail, ready to be thrown out. Then there are those who recognized my handwriting on the envelope. Because they hate me, they did not even bother to open the envelope. Instead, they shredded it immediately while others burned it. Some opened it, read it, but they have other more pleasurable things they would rather do than attend my feast. Then of course there are those who opened it, received it with joy, and responded. They reserved seats for their loved ones as well. What category do you belong in? My brides are the joyful receivers of my invitation, and in equal joy they have responded favorably from the bottom of their hearts. On the day of the feast, they bathe thoroughly, anoint themselves with oil and perfume, and they put on clean clothes. There is excited chatter outside my door as guests meet, mingle, and recognize other guests. Once their number is fulfilled, the doors to the palace will be opened, and they will enter in past the courtyard of meeting. They will each step forward and present their gifts to me before we all head towards the dining tables. My guards are very thorough. They will not allow you in without a gift. Think carefully about the gifts you present before me. However big, however small, as long as it is your very best gift, I will accept it. Give me that which is most precious to you. If it did not cost you anything, then it is not a worthy tribute. It must have cost you something, and it must have cost you dearly. Otherwise, it is unworthy. Think long and hard, my children, before you present your tribute. It must be worthy of a great king. Do not give me what cost you nothing, or what someone else gave you, or one that you have presented to another. My tribute should be one of a kind, unique, and duplicated. It cannot be regifted. It cannot be something that I or someone else rejected, because it was worthless, and there will be no sharing of gifts. Each must bring their own tribute in their hands no exceptions. I am excitedly waiting to see and open your gifts, my children. They are all precious to me because they are unique to you. Truthfully, the best gift a man can offer me is his soul. The soul of a man is the most priceless gift that a man can offer to me. Come to me, let me redeem you, and rejoice in your perfect tribute to me. Amen. And that was the end of the message from the Lord Jesus. Be blessed, beloved.